The Bad Batch, Season 3, Episode 9, Thoughts. This episode is called The Harbinger. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything Star Wars leading up to and including this episode. The show is rated TVPG, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah, so cool to see Asajj Ventress again. And, yeah, apparently a bounty hunter makes a ton of sense. You know, considering the the journey she's had... You know what? What is she gonna do? Go beg the emperor to to be, you know, his pet or something? The, yeah, the the yeah makes and and with her skill set, you know, of course she's not gonna like I don't know tend bar or something. That would be a complete waste. So yeah, great that they brought the the actress back. Pretty sure it's the same. I'm just gonna double check so I don't make it complete. Yeah, yeah, same as yeah. Um, the yeah, I I like the the various tests that she puts Omega through. You know, the second one did feel like it was mainly you know it sounds like a Jedi test, but she's really just getting rid of Omega because she. You know, she was basically expecting to have mopped the floor with the entire Bad Batch by the time Omega... And, and maybe leave. No, I guess not leave. But yeah, by the time Omega got back, she was expecting to have dealt with them and she'd take Omega with her as she threatened the Batch. Uh, let's see. The, yeah, um, I appreciate the, the point about, you know... The first test, Omega's focusing on the wrong things, which, you know, major part of Jedi teaching is, f yeah, focus on, yeah, um, let's see, and yeah, I like that, you know, so when they first meet Asajj, you know, it, they're, they're like, no, we're not telling you anything, and Omega's like, so... I'm asking for a friend, and then as soon as Asajj you know, gives a little information, she's like, I'm a Jedi? I mean, my friend's a Jedi? I'm just saying, hypothetically, my fictional friend is very excited about being a Jedi, and she would very much like to ask you, when can I start my training? You know, just, that, that was, yeah. And she did get some information out of her, you know, and they are, of course, going with, you know, oh yeah, Midichlorians, something in your blood, you know, and yeah, when you know they get out on the on the water, and you know, yeah, the the um, communicating with nature, and Asajj was not intending to attract the the giant kraken, squid, turtle, you know, love Star Wars creatures. But, you know, and and she uses the, the you know, like, I guess a mind trick or something, you know, affects the creature's mind to calm it back down in order to, you know, instead of, yeah, shooting at it and such. Um, I think that might be... Right, uh, I like her new look. I think they did a, a good job of... Yeah, she looks like a bounty hunter, you know. The you know she's got the the shoulder pad thing. I I don't know what it's called. That a number of other bounty hunters do. And right, she's got a yellow lightsaber now, a more neutral color. At least according to these, you know, if you're going by Dark Forces Two Jedi Knight, it's you know. All the different colors are equally capable of being evil, you know. Um, fun fact, I actually... Fun for me. For years, I, I absolutely adored yellow lightsabers. And after a while, I actually forgot why. And then I went back and replayed, you know, Dark Forces 2 Jedi Knight. And then I was like, oh, right, because there's a certain specific thing in that game that I don't want to give away for... I know I said I was going to spoil all of Star Wars, but I actually... I really don't want to spoil that game for anyone who hasn't played it, but there's a there's a significant moment that involves a yellow lightsaber that I watched, and I was like, yes, awesome, you know, so... 
every time I played one of the games, I would select a yellow lightsaber. Uh, I think that is about what I have to say for the episode. Um... Right, I I love Omega. You know, she's just she's got a strong intuition. You know, she points out. You know, they're they're like we can't trust Asajj. Which you know, if you just look at what she's done, yeah, kind of sounds like, you know, like if you look at only the things she's done, like we the audience know there's more to her than that. You know, she has sometimes made the right choice. She does sometimes try to do good. The the. Or at the very least, you know, she's not evil for evil's sake. She's not constantly just hurting people for no good reason. You know, they're but but yeah, that's not in the file. All the, the file has is all the death she's responsible for, all the pain she's caused. And Omega points out, you know, to Crosshair, I was right about you, you know, and that was also some things, yeah. And I like the the callback with, you know, we don't follow orders or something along those lines, you know, when the whole thing was, you know, good soldiers follow orders. Let's see. And, you know, GR44, you must always follow your orders. I think that is about, um, right, um... I like that Bat. You know, up, up until this point, Batcher has basically been like a dog, and now apparently, you know, Omega can also ride on. Have we seen? No, I don't think. But I, I could be remembering wrong. But I think this is the first time we see it ride. But yeah, you know, I'm sure the the kids. It's probably going to sell more toys, and the kids who already have it are now going to play with it, like that. And let's see. Uh, right, some people had actually guessed that Asajj would be the contact that, yeah, Fennec contacted. And I love that she just shows up, you know, and she doesn't, like, make a big announcement about, you know, she basically lures Omega close before, you know, essentially, like, well, I suppose it's possible she didn't lure, but it's, it's possible it was just... Omega's curiosity, but yeah, you know, the there's some power moves. Asajj pulls some power moves this episode. Yeah, um, I love the line, you know, I, I knew, when I saw the trailer, I knew, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing the exact situation. She says, you know, something along the lines of, I wasn't planning on killing you, but you're making that very tempting. 